Hey guys, TechNivers here. Today we are talking about Simplify 3D. Now this is one of the few paid slicers that you he hear people talking about and it is pretty decent, but is it worth the price? That's the question. Uh, there are so many free slicers out there that are available and this one is not really anything spectacular uh, compared to them, but we're gonna go over it anyway and allow you to make your own decision. So basically, uh, right away you'll notice that the controls are backwards. If I left click, it will rotate the platter. If I right click, it will move it around in my view. Generally the opposite of most other slicers. It's pretty easy to grab a model and drop it in here and I will do that now. Let me just jump over. And actually this is one of the things I like the most about it is that I can just go in and let me find the right one here one second. Um, so when it does bring the model in, it does this cool little animation that has no effect on the slicing at all, but it's kind of cool to see it just, here it goes, it'll just kind of drop in and bounce there someday. See, there it goes. So, um, and the visual quality is um, amazing. It looks great. Controls are pretty easy. I can grab my model and scale up or down just by clicking on it. Grab it and rotate it. And they have a couple other handy things too, like the cross section. Do you know if I turn on the cross section, I can enable it for, it's on the Z axis now. And then I can switch to the other half or I can do the Y axis or the X axis as well. Um, kind of a cool little tool. There are these directional buttons for popping into the three-quarter view and the side top and front view, which is cool. You can switch to the wireframe. This model is extremely complex, so it's hard to see a lot of the triangles. It's got a lot of tries. So, um, And then these supports, you can go in and either generate automatic supports, which pretty well gives you what you need. I'm gonna clear those out, or you can add a new support structure. And the way that you do this, I'm gonna turn off wireframe mode, is basically you put the pointer underneath what you wanna support, and it will extend the support upward when you click to place. Pretty cool, pretty simple. It is nice. The supports did come away really easily. I will show you uh, this, I did print this model already. Uh, it's right here. It came out pretty well, although there are some spots. I don't know if you can see that from the camera there where it is uh, not getting properly filled. And those are generally on the top and bottom surfaces. So when I printed this, there were some shell settings that I needed to adjust and I will go in and adjust them. I'm not gonna count this slicer out just because of that. Obviously all slicers need a little bit of tweaking. Um, the next thing you'll do in this process though is to go to add and you'll add a process and this is basically where you do all of your editing of temperature, speed, things like that, the infill support, all that stuff's in here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and cancel that. Uh, all in all, this is a pretty nice tool. Visually, it is amazing. Like I said, the print didn't come out quite as nice as I wanted it to. It was very, very well done other than in a few places, but in those few places, it was blaringly obvious. So. Um, I'm not going to say that this slicer is not worth the money yet. I'm going to do a little bit more testing of it, print a couple more models, adjust a couple settings. But so far, I am enjoying the experience of using it. And if you get the chance to try a demo or something like that, definitely give it a shot because it might be the slicer for you. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.